Hey there. Some of you might remember this 12 USB device charger I've designed and made a PCB for. And the way I aim to solve it is with a PCB from PCB Way. And so here are the PCBs. Well, I've just made it better. So first things first, uh, I've made a nice 3D printable case, uh, which slides in quite nicely, like so. goes in between the USB ports and everything and it has a bottom so it doesn't short anything so I'll just update this listing with this case but the great thing about this design is that it is flexible when you order from PCBWay this specific board you can actually get 10 of them for the exact same cost and so that means that you can use this board here to charge six simultaneous devices or if you want to go crazy you can just solder up another one of these boards just the USB section and then you can charge 12 devices but then this doesn't fit in so well and as you can see my case isn't really designed to handle that well thankfully I've got this middle section designed and you just slide this on top of these like so and then these fit together like so and like so so now you have a box with bolts that can charge up to 24 USB devices at once and all you need to do is run wires from these two pads down onto these two pads so let's do that now Let's see if I can manage to get this all in frame. So I've got these little lengths of wire here and I'm just going to thread them into the holes underneath here. It's okay if there's a couple of loose strands, not the end of the world. And then all I'm gonna do is prop this up over here and just solder them there. So there we go. Uh, these two are soldered, black on ground and red on the 5 volt. Uh, and then all you have to do is line this up. You got to make sure that the midsection uh, 3D print is, you know, on because you're going to thread this through. And then I'm just going to uh, put these wires through these holes over here. Sort of like this hold those together so those two are now secured like so then you can close the clamshell and insert the 3d print on the top So like that, and then you can line up your base. Then you just grab some M3 screws. These are M3 by 45. And actually, I would say they are a little bit too short. Um, they do work, but uh, M3 by 50 would be ideal. And once you've destroyed your wrist threading in these M3 bolts, um, then you can either insert some M3 nuts up here, sink them into these holes, or because the holes are actually small enough, these bolts are holding right on their own. The greatest part about all this is, again, you get 10 of these boards and so you can assemble as many as you want and this midsection here you can stack as many as you want vertically i don't know why you would need so many uh, usbs above and beyond these but hey 
that's none of my business. That's your business. So this is the first uh, expansion I'm doing to this tower, but I plan on making some more. So if you like this project, let me know in the comments below. And there's the link in the description for you to get your own. Thank you to PCBWay for sponsoring this video. Thanks for watching.